two stitches and sundries. This is a floss tube out stitchy goodness, cross stitch, all that fun stuff. It has been oh, over a month, I think, since that, because I'm a little late recording this month. Um, and I have so much stuff for spring. Um, I feel like I've been so productive lately. So I have tons of stuff to show. Um, but let's do quick life updates just for fun. And, uh, I really don't have any, <laughs> so that's, that's easy. Uh, it's been crazy stressful at work. I come home, like my brain is about ready to turn off. Uh, we've been doing all the, like, we're almost to the end of year end, which, uh, I work in a finance team. So that's always like a big haul for audits and reporting and all this stuff. And it has just been exhausting. So that's been fun and games. Uh, but I try to push through stitching, especially this last month. It has been really, not even last month, last two weeks. It's just been really draining. And so I come home, I'm like, I'm getting my stitches in. And then I end up staying up late to try and get my, a decent amount of stitching done or like reach a milestone or something. So I'm tired the next day. And so I come home and I'm like, uh, push through. So, and then I crash and I'm, I'm like not able to get anything done. So that's a great mindset, Lauren. Um... What else has been happening? It's almost my sister's birthday. Next weekend is my sister's birthday. So I've been finding her all kinds of fun gifts, I gift ideas and fun stuff. And every time I've been starting a new stitch, she looks at me and goes, for me? And I'm like, you have like 17 stitches go. Like, no, I stitch enough for you. Um, what else? That's all the big stuff. Been getting together with friends more regularly, which is we have regular time, like scheduled time, but I have been like, Nope, I want more time, which I'm sure their their spouses and stuff are super excited about. But I'm like, I'm going here. Anybody want to come along? And then I get, you know, so that's been really nice because work has been so exhausting. I feel like I need that recharge and I get recharged from people. So that has been super awesome. Other than that, just watching it rain, and rain and rain and rain. Spring here did not used to be this wet. It is so wet anymore. And... Like my sister has been multiple times this spring. Um, her drive to work has to go through this like wetlands area. Completely floods the highway. Highway closed. So it's a local highway, like, you know, two lanes, nothing crazy. But like, yeah, it completely floods. And she's like, I gotta take the long way home. Like I'll be home in an hour. Like for something that is a 20 minute drive normally because it just floods this whole region. And there's nothing they can do about it. I mean, I'm sure there's something they could do about it, but not without impacting this like lowlands area so that's been fun lots of stuff with just being damp I am damp right now I hate it um but other than that, it's been really good I'm ready for spring I'm ready for night I'm not ready for yard work but I'm ready for everything else that comes with spring so that's all the update nothing crazy lots of cross stitch let's get into it lots of cross stitch I have three fully finished objects. I have three finishes, not fully finished yet. Uh, and I have one, two, three whips and two new starts. Look at, I mean, gosh darn it, doing so great. Uh, I actually wanted to have another new start and I was planning to do it this week, but every time I was so tired, I just picked up whatever was open and like sitting around and was like, this will do. I can't, I can't mentally prepare to start something new because that's a process for me. It's like a ritual. So let's look at fully finished objects. Start with the big. All right. So this is an old one. I actually had this finished last time, last episode and completely forgot to show it. Just did, forgot to bring it. Uh, let's think if we can remember. Got it. This is Eat Crow by Plum Street Samplers. I wanted to say Threadwork Primitives, and I knew that wasn't right, but I. So it is all finished up. I changed the lettering. It's been a while since you guys seen this one. So it is all finished up. There's a little banner. It's got a little hanger. Super cute. And yeah. My sister helped me just do the stitching really neatly on the sides. Just stitched up very, very nicely. And 
he looks great. He is, he's been floating around our house. He keeps getting moved around uh, because he's just like waiting for me to film this. But uh, I think he's probably gonna end up being fall decor. But I, I like it because it's Maryland for Black Eyed Susans. So I kind of want him out more. But anyway, he is done. He looks amazing. His little crown looks amazing. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I forgot to do this whole part of the thing. If you follow me on Instagram at Lauren Up Stitching, I've gotten way better about posting stuff. So I've posted finishes before they shown here. Um, and yeah, he looks great. Um, hang somewhere so you're not in the way. Next fully finished object is this one. So this frame. So this is... Greetings from Beyond. Let's look at the reflection. Uh, Greetings from Beyond by Night Spirit Studios. And look at this amazing frame I found. Uh, I... The bat. You can see. He's filming. Look at how grungy and awesome and art deco-y and like perfect. Now I'm going to have to wipe it down because I've got my fingers all over it. Um, so this frame I found on eBay. I constantly watch eBay for frames. Uh, I'm a frame hoarder. Don't look in my boxes of frames just off camera. Um, but I watch for really cool, interesting frames. And with this arched um, piece, I knew I wanted an arched frame. And look how perfectly it sits in there. One thing I realized as, like just a week ago was that I finished this, got it in there, got it all lined up, and realized I forgot to sign it. So I'm going to get it out and sign it. It's just, it's just in there with the regular old framing piece. Now this, I cannot hang up uh, because the back is just too delicate. I couldn't put that amount. I couldn't rely on it to hold that up. So it will be sitting on a shelf. But if you can see out of the corner, uh, let's see. Up there, up there. I love little shelves. So I'm not going to, I have tons. I also watch thrift stores for little shelves. Uh, so I will have a whole menagerie of little stuff um, to go with him. So he, and this is going to leave now, probably, because I'm going to put them together as a set. Those two are a set. Eh, can't figure out angles with filming. Yes. Oh, so good. They're not actually a set. This is by Tiny Modernist. This is... Ouija by Tiny Modernist, and this is Green from Beyond by Night Spirit Studios, but they totally go together. They totally go together. So, that is one of my favorite finishes. I'm just, I just adore that frame. Um, and yeah, now it is fingerprinted all to hell. So that one was super good. I'm gonna start another one that I have planned for that set here soon, but um, trying to get couple other things done. I'm loving that whole idea of like a divination themed spooky set. Um, I'm going to color convert so they're all in the same colors. Cannot wait. I had a thought recently that because I, I have another finish that is up on my wall right now for spring and Sarah was like my sister was like I love having personalized stuff to decorate our house with and I as you can see I'm a fan of no blank walls cram it in there every square inch fill it gallery walls walls that go up above doors I love that shit I love that look I love that like you know, like the Adams family where just like there's a drapery or a picture everywhere with an ornate frame. That's what I'm going for. And um, I was like, you know, I'm, I have no plans to have kids. When I, when we go, nobody's going to want this stuff. <laughs> like we are just amassing stuff for other people to have to throw away. And then I think about my grandparents that uh, my grandmother passed away last year. Um, she's the last of my grandparents that was, uh, that were alive. And the amount of stuff they had to go through. Like my dad had to go down. She had two properties. She had one here in Maryland, one in Florida, like a trailer in, uh, in Florida. 
and they just had to go through and throw out so much stuff. And I'm like, that's the natural course of things. Somebody will have to deal with this. It won't be me. And hopefully some people really like it. You know, that's fine. All right, last fully finished object is this one. Ah, look at it. It's too big to even put in frame. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my God, it turned out so good. Oh my God, it turned out so good. Oh my God, it turned out so good. So this is Make Today Magical by Tiny Modernist. It was a year long sal. Uh, and I just finished it up. This is on 18 Count Pansy by Picture This Plus. And originally I wanted a hoop that would be really close to the edge. Uh, but it turns out this thing is just too small for a 16 inch hoop. Like with a 16 inch hoop, you would cut the edge of each flower off, like the bottom of the hands. Um, and a 17 inch hoop, I didn't have. Uh, I wanted to use a hoop of my grandmother's. Uh, and so she had an 18 inch hoop. And when I got it in there, I mean, you can bit like, there's the selvage edge. Like I had barely enough fabric to get it in there. But when I got it in there, I loved it so much. Uh, I could have bought a 17 inch hoop. They're pretty, they exist. It's a odd size, but they do exist. But I wanted to use one I already had. So I got this cord from Joann's. It's a trim cord uh, of braided rope. And I think that goes so nicely. The cream goes so nicely with the the colors already in there. And, and it's like, um, you see them sometimes where they use like rope and they're hanging like a wagon wheel. I like that. And then I covered where the, the rope meets with some flowers. And that's also where the, now you can see the back where there's a little hot glue, but it's also where the piece is. It's where I had the rope kind of end. Um, so I love that. I also backed it in fabric. Looks great. There's a little pucker down here. Don't look at that. Um, so it looks amazing. It is on our wall for spring. I love it. Turned out fantastic. All right. So those are my fully finished objects. I've been on a roll. I'm actually in the middle of finishing another one. And then I've got these three finished objects. We're just, I mean, we're not even gonna get to the whips today. Gosh, so productive. Actually, so many smalls. Sorry, I'm making a lot of noise. I'm sorry, but I need hand, I need space. Down All right, let's look at some fully finished objects. Or not fully finished objects, finishes. So this one I had started for my mom's birthday, which is one leap year this year. Um, she's passed away, but it was a nice uh, little stitch that made me think of her. This is Golden Hour Nature Walk by Sprouting Lupine. And I love it. I love it so much. Uh, it was just a little thing. I think it was like 1500 stitches. Uh, I did change. This was a cicada and I changed it to be a bee. Um, just because I felt like I liked it with the motif and I don't really like cicadas. But I did keep the shed cicada shell because I do fi we do find those and that's pretty neat. So... I absolutely love the colors of this. I love how it turned out. This is 28 count Queen Anne's Lace by Picture This Plus. And it's a little green and it actually I feel like makes the yellows pop. The yellows and oranges pop a little bit. Absolutely love everything about it. I plan to frame it and put it in my bedroom as just a year round. It's not going to be. It's just going to be. Thinking about my mom. Really cool. Love that. So. Don't know how I had this thing put away. Roll it like this. Sprouting Lupine just released a new one. Uh, in this quote unquote series. It's now three series long. Of Twilight Nature Walk. And I might have to do that too. I really like Sprouting Lupine. She does beautiful stuff. 
All right. This is from the Stitch Crypt Patreon page. This is Flatwoods Monster. It's part of her series of year-long cryptids uh, that are little tags, bookmarks, whatever you want. You can do them all together as like a, in a as a single motif, um, but I'm doing them individually. And I had started this uh, pretty much only, <laughs> I worked on it the next evening and finished it up. So it is done. Um, one of my favorite details about this is the top where it is clearly like them peeking over with their little clawy fingers. Super good. Love it. Uh, this is part, I'm doing the whole series and I am doing it on uh, fabric that I'm going to finish as a bunting or like, um, you know, the little triangular things. So on the back, see my back, I have outlined exactly how much fabric I need so I can get a set. I can totally get a second one on here. Oh yeah. I tested it. My sister made me a test swatch because she sews. Uh, of that's exactly, I, that's the minimum I can get away with. I can get two. Uh, I did go out and find one more fabric to go on this because I want to have a, a, a decent number of colors, but I can get two out of this. I think I'm going to put, I was thinking Nessie here. Nessie was just released. I'll put Nessie up here. Nessie was released for March. Um, and so I was thinking of putting Nessie here, but now I just got a like really faded blue and I'm thinking Nessie might go on the blue. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what I'm in the mood for because I'm about to start Nessie here. Uh, the other one I finished, so that was February, was uh, Stitch Crypt also released this old older pattern of, uh, older, it was like six months older, of the Fresno Nightcrawler and was like it could totally be part of the group like as a little bonus so you'd end up with 13 cryptids in total and I wanted Fresno Nightcrawler but I didn't like the owl and so I went about kind of tweaking things and I ended up tweaking it a little bit but I started and finished Fresno Nightcrawler and so you can see I got rid of the owl and I got a, uh, I got rid of one of the ghosts just because I liked the balance. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, this guy has a thing in the air. This guy has a thing in the air. Nice and balanced. Um, but yeah, so Fresno is also done. So I have, and it's on the other end of my mouth. <laughs> I have three of the 13 done. I'm about to start Nessie. They go really quick. They're also like 1500 stitches. So they are nice and easy to get a finish on. Um, I'm going to start Nessie, but she also just released for April. If you are, um, I think Flatwoods and Mothman are, are done. I think they're, everything is available for two months. But for April, she just released the Squonk, and he's so cute. Uh, I think I'm also gonna do Squonk on this dark fabric. I've got a little bit more of this. So, he's a Squonk, and he's so cute and ugly and sad. Where am I putting things? Over here. The, uh, I really like these. I. It is getting a little annoying in my my uh, way I keep track of everything to just have a bunch of finishes that I'm not even trying to fully finish because I'm going to wait until I get all of them to fully finish them at one time. That, that bothers me a little bit to keep looking down and seeing yellow, not green. Boop. All right, so that is all of my finishes and fully finished objects. So let's do some whips. This one's out. So we're going with it. So this is, all right, get your brain on. Crypto Naturalist Sampler by oh man, it's 
Thank you. It's going to be in the corner of the image I put up. Crypto Natural Sampler. But I say this every time. Screaming Heart Design. Oh, I got it. I told you my brain is turning off, right? Like it is turning off lately. But while I was thinking about that, I will have put up where I was. <laughs> Editing Lauren's problem. Here's where I am today. As you can see, I've only got a little bit left. I've only got a little bit left. I am 90% done. I'm almost completely done this big black block. And then it's chonky border. Fill in the skull. One more star, one more skull. Corner. Not bad. Not bad at all. 90%. About 2,100 stitches. My goal is to get a fish in April. It might be May, but that's okay. That's okay. It is a focus piece. I really put down some numbers on it this time. I think the last time I showed it, I think maybe I had some of the like white done in this corner and like a little bit of the black, but like, look how much, I really good, really good. So I've been focusing on this. I cannot wait to have it done. I know I'm gonna frame it. I, I think this might be one I actually take to a framer. This fabric uh, is 28 count, picture this plus Crystal Highlands it is really soft. And when you pull on it, you can like really get, get it in and out of shape. Uh, so I might take it to a professional to like keep, make sure it's straight. It's also perf like got a perfectly square edge that you're gonna notice if it wobbles. So I might take this to a professional framer, but then that'll be the first time I've ever done that. All my stuff I do myself poorly, or it looks good on the, on the front. Do not look at the back. Uh, but yeah. So I'm loving this 90%, 2,100 stitches. It's happening. And the thing is, I love this. I really, really, the reason I'm like, it's not, it's not even like, oh, I can't wait to have this done and off my plate. A little bit, but not not really. This one, I'm like, I love this and cannot wait to have this. We're moving into our new building at work in May, right at the end of May. Uh, so I definitely want that done for, technically I don't get an office, but I want it for wherever I'm freaking sitting. I'm gonna be like, no, it has to go on a wall near me. Has to. Uh, one of the funnier things is, so they have art, they months ago, way too early, pre-ordered a bunch of cubicles, super tall cubicles that are supposedly like noise canceling cubicles and blah, blah, blah. Because me, who is, uh, my role is called decision support. Uh, I'm a data analyst and I do financial planning and strategic outcomes and things like that. Uh, and we have an accounting assistant. This was our whole finance team, senior accountant, accounting assistant, me, that's it. Because we're so small, they were like, eh. like they gave the senior accountant an office, which was honestly generous. Like, like she totally deserves it, but they were being stingy with offices. And then the rest of us are just going to be out in the like corral with all the people from billing, patient services, and health information records. Health information and records. All they do all day is talk on the phone to patients and like try and help them solve insurance issues, billing issues. All they do is talk on the phone all day. And apparently they're la very loud. <laughs> they're very loud. So they got us them these noise canceling cubicles that are like, you know, five and a half feet tall. And everybody's like, that's not gonna do it. Like. They've, cubicle farms, no, that just doesn't work that way. Um, but now, so they bought all those cubicles months ago. All those people have been approved to work from home. Every single one of them. It's going to be me and the accounting assistant in this ginormous room, just echoing. I find that very funny because you could have just saved, you just jumped the gun, you wanted everybody in cubicles. 
I love that for them. All right, second whip. Second whip. All right, let's do this one. This is my travel stitch. This is Dungeon Master by Stitch It Picasso. And it's a whole set and I'm going to try and do most of the set as well as create some ones for, these are for D&D &D classes. These are RPG classes. And um, she has the whole set for D&D. &D. So I'll, I'll put a, like a little four frame of them up here. So like I'm doing Dungeon Master, but there she has ones for Ranger, Druid, Cleric, um, Fighter, all the classics. She's got the whole darn thing. Uh, but I play Pathfinder, which has a much larger variety of classes. So I need to make up the difference, which is about 11 pieces. So it's going to take me about 17 years. Um, but I'm just like going to try and finagle more classes in there and try and match her art style. Great. <laughs> Uh, but I reached out to her and was like, would you be interested in doing this? Like, I'd pay you, I'd commission. And she was like, nah. <laughs> Great. Uh, but nobody does the full Pathfinder. Because it's like 15 classes, I think. But anyway, while I was rambling, this is where I was. Lar editing Lauren has shown it. And this is where I am. I think I'm about 60% done. I really made some progress. I've been taking it to work. Uh, I take it to work and then I leave it at work all week so I can pick it up if I have time. And if I don't have time, I wouldn't have had time anyway. So, uh, so I have been working on the rays. I'm almost done all the way around for the rays. Been really working on this banner. Kind of made some progress outlining the book. Yeah. Super cute. I love it. One thing I'm annoyed about is I bought hoops from Amazon. I thought, I thought I was buying this size, um, but I was buying, instead buying larger and they were freaking dirty. You can't pick, that's not picking up on camera. Thank God. They're freaking dirty. And so they've made this big dust ring all the way around the project. That was, and then I've put them in multiple, multiple things in them now. Every single one of them was filthy. I should have like wiped them off. Amazon. So yeah, loving this. I really love the colors of this. It's so bright and fun. Uh, and yeah, can't wait to have it done. Start my collection in our gaming room. Yeah, I think this was, I started keeping track of like what you've worked on them, what you've stitched on the most. So in March, this is the thing I put the most stitches in because I was insistent to get it done. And then uh, this is the thing I worked the most number of days on, but that sometimes was like 50 stitches in a day. So, very, you know, like I worked on it more days because I was working on it, you know, if a meeting came up or something, but uh, it was, I did put the most days on it in March. Oh, I did um, do some dog sitting this, uh, this time. And uh, this time I was away from you all, whatever month, sure. And uh, I took this up there. This is Greenhouse of Oddities by Lola Crow. Uh, and it was a nice thing to like take up and work on. And this is where I was. I figure out how to get it so you can see. And this is where I'm at. <gasps> A whole lady showed up. Uh, yeah, so I finished uh, Maria Meriden and started on the tree, finished all the butterflies as well. Did a lot of back stitching. I got some of the back stitching in that needed to be finished. And I am almost completely done the center section. When I'm done the center section, I think I'm going to come over here and do this section and just work area by area instead of like color by color or something and try and finish all the back stitching as well. So this is turning out really lovely. I am really enjoying this. Um, I love the colors. Oh yeah. I love that freaking 
corpse flower in the middle there. Pitcher plant, whatever they're called. Um, this is a very nice one to stitch on. The doggo was, I had it in a big Q-snap and he was very good about not touching it because I was, he's very drooly. And so I really worry about not working on stuff, but I think if it's bigger, he's like, like he knows not to go near it. I don't know. Don't ask me why it's different for him. He's, he's, he's a very peculiar dog. He has very specific needs. He likes things in a very specific way. What is that? Don't know. Um, for instance, he will only eat if I stand there and look at him while he eats. I can prepare it perfectly the way his dad prepares it. Nothing. Stand there. Watch me. What will happen to me? If you're not watching me eat, I could choke and die. I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, so those are my whips. So I have two new starts. One is, I decided, I was like gonna start something new and I was originally going to start Infinite Diversity by Happy, Happy Little Sloth on Etsy. Um, but I was, didn't have a couple colors and oh and it wasn't in it wasn't pattern keeper compatible so I was like okay I gotta do something to get it pattern keeper compatible because I can't do anything without it anymore um I am a I am a what's it spoiled like effete fool but uh so I was like okay the other thing I wanted to start was a gift stitch I'm doing for our whole finance team, all four of us, so me, county assistant, senior accountant, and our boss, our manager, the CFO, I was going to do a set of matching cross stitches. And I was like, let's get those out. So this is, ooh, do we remember the name? This is A Cruel World by, I do not remember. It's too new. I don't remember. I'll put the thing. I'll put the thing to tell you who it's by. Um, they're only on Etsy. And uh, I bought this whole set. So this is the first one. This is for our senior accountant, Jen. And uh, this is a cruel world, which I just loved. And uh, I got a little start. I am changing the color of the pansies because I want all, all of them to match. So this is the only pattern where the pansies were like pink and yellow and all the other patterns, they were blue and yellow. So I wanted, so I'm changing the color to be, which you can't even tell here, but I am changing that color. Um, and yeah, got a good little start on it. I think I'm like 40% done already. It's very small. It'll go very quickly, but I have four of them to do and I'm not going to do them back to back to back right in November when I'm being annoyed. So I just figured I'd get one started so it can be done. And I'm just doing this on 18 count white Ada. Nothing crazy. I looked at a couple other things and was like, I, white is the thing that looked nicest. So yeah, super cute. I was also talking to um, our CEO um, who I used to work for. So there, I work under the CFO and for a while we didn't have a CFO. So I worked directly under the CEO. And um, he really loves cross-stitch. When he found out I cross-stitch, he was like, oh my gosh, my grandmother cross-stitch. We fight over her cross-stitch. Like, I love cross-stitch. And he is going to finish his contract out next December. And he's going to retire. And I was like, you know, I really ought to make him something since he's always complimenting it and talking about it with me. Um, I should really make him something so that and I better get it started so that I can be done in a reasonable amount of time. So I'm going to start looking for him for something, even though he's not my boss anymore. Uh, but he's still a really great guy. So, all right. The other start is something a little different. So my sister got me a while ago, and I just hadn't gotten it out. Um, this really cool 
embroidery kit. So, mm, and I don't know where it's from. And I can't look because I'm recording right there. Uh, <laughs> I will put where it's from. It's a gift, so I, really, I, I honestly would have to ask, I think. Um, this really cool embroidery kit. I have uh, really liked embroidery. I wanted to do some embroidery, but I'm not a big fan of just sticking some flowers, you know, like, oh, it's a flowers and a ring or something. It's not my jam. Uh, I know that's how a lot of people learn because you do lots of shapes and different textures and stuff. Uh, so I probably will do some of those, but she got me this one, which is really cool and different. Um, and she got it for me because she wants it for her room. <laughs> And so, so I got a start on it and here's my little start and I love it. It's so pretty. So you can see the pattern is printed, which is super nice. And it came with all the thread, which is like a silk. It's very soft. Um, and yeah, it teaches you all the stitches. It's a super nice little pattern. I am terrified of starting the bird. Like, I don't know what I'm doing and I have to, and the bird is pretty much the next thing you have to do if you want to layer things properly. Eee! But I'm going to do it because I'm learning. It is a really nice one to learn on. It's a lot of easy stitches, nothing crazy. So that is my updates. Um, I'm having a lot of fun. I am making a lot of progress on things. Does the... Nope. The little insert does not have her name right on the front of it. Which makes me worry it's a drop shipper. Which I hate. Etsy anymore. So hit or miss. Anytime I'm like, oh, I like this pattern on Etsy. I instantly go search if the artist has a website that I can buy directly from the website because I know it's just, just like generally better for artists. But also, uh, you have to do like a whole lot of stuff to see, is this even the person that designed, you know, like, is this the right, not the right Etsy, but like, you know, you'll see the same pattern posted on five different things, which hopefully means it's like a public domain pattern. Usually doesn't. Usually that's not what that means. Um, sometimes it's like, a Russian designer and you're not gonna figure out who's got it first or something but I think it's a little hit or miss and weird so but it's the easiest way to find stuff and then I go find their website but yeah lots of progress lots of fun things going on I am gonna be starting uh, that infinite diversity that we talked about uh, and Probably some other stuff. I really want to get, I'm constantly saying like, if I get one or two more things finished, but then I get like four finishes and I still feel like I've got so much like stuff hanging out there. But I recently started tracking the number of stitches I have left on things. And so when I reach a certain like key watermark, I'm like, okay, you've, you've dipped below 30,000 outstanding stitches. Oh, you can add a new start. Oh, you dipped below 30,000. You got a new start. If you had a big new start, well, it's going to take you a lot longer to get down below blah, blah, blah. That's my plan. My spreadsheets have gotten out of control. But it makes me happy to update them all the time. So, anyway. Stop talking about spreadsheets. I hope you all are having a wonderful spring. I hope it is uh, not flooding where you're at. If it is, I hope you're safe. I hope everything is okay. And yeah, I hope, stay safe, stay sane. This world is getting crazy, but I love you. Bye.